how are we coming along as far as producing our local PPEs? Who are you directing the question to? Uh, yes, to the to anyone in the government, uh, Mr. Chairman. Uh, anybody? Take or maybe from the private sector, the representative from the private sector. All right. Uh, Let me start with them. Yes. Uh, yes, uh, Mr. Ferrer is from the private sector. Would you like yes. to ask that? Anybody yes, from the private right. sector, just uh, sound off, and we will recognize you to answer the question of Senator Recto. Go ahead, please. Uh, good afternoon, Senator uh, Recto. When it comes to uh, a PPE industry, there was was an established uh, PPE industry uh, that can produce the complete set, except for the gloves, except for the surgical gloves that we almost had one, but has pulled out of investing in the Philippines. But uh, we will have to uh, relook again as uh, Senator Recto, if we can again uh, scale up to the requirements that is needed in the Philippines. But I would uh, strongly recommend uh, if we can put uh, together and have support on local manufacturers. We can, the Filipino companies, can produce uh, the required uh, PPE for the Philippines. Thank you. Yes, Mr. Ferrer, isn't it correct that based on last year, no, based on the data that we've seen with COA, mas mura kayo kaysa dun sa mga binili sa Farmali? Tama ba yun? Uh, based on what? Yeah, uh, Senator Recto, based on what I heard today, uh, at least for the face mask, uh, we are lower than the prices that I saw in the document that was presented uh, this morning. Yes, so mas mura kayo, almost half the price. It seems that way, Senator Rector, yes. Okay, so uh, half the price kayo, pero hindi pa rin binibigay sa inyo ng gobyerno, tama ba yun? Uh, we were awarded, uh, we were awarded 100 we were awarded a 100 million piece contract mm -hmm. uh, at 1350. And again, I'd like to say that only 25% of that 100 million was shipped at 1350, and the 75% was shipped at 2 pesos and 35 centavos. Okay. Magkano naman yung sinip ng farmali? That one I wouldn't have any. Information, Senator. Okay, so question to PSDBM. Is uh, Yusek Law with us still? In present, Mr. Chairman. Okay, so the question is, nakadeliver ang EMS ng 1350, they want the bidding for 100%. Nakadeliver sa ng 250. Magkano yung delivery naman ng Farmali? Farmali. Ano may idea natin, no? Uh, um, the dates are very crucial, Mr. Chairman, because the, the deliveries of EMS started on June 1, June 28, July, August, and September, all in 2020. And the, the last deliveries, I think, they had was this year, this year, January. Um, however, Farmali has delivered um, 500... 2.4 million and then so let's let's keep it quickly because uh, marami pa magtatanong eh so magkano ang delivery ng family oh. around 12 million pieces for the month of April and May and magkano yon how much was there how much did it, did it cost the government for them to deliver it's around 200 to 70 around 280 million pesos no how much per piece a uh, per piece at 27 and 22, Mr. Chair. Okay. So, sa local, 13 and 2 pesos. Do sa imported, 27 and 22. Tama ba yun? Yes, Mr. Chair. Okay. So, hamak na mas mura yung local. Yes, Mr. Chair. Okay. Uh, okay. Pangalawa, uh, let's ask the private sector, why is it that you do not know the prices quoted by Farmali? Meaning to say, Hindi ba dapat transparent yung PSDBM 
nasa website dapat ninyo, nasa portal ninyo, so on and so forth, na ito yung presyo na binibili ninyo. Bakit hindi natin nakikita yon sa PSDBM? Uh... Bakit nakatago yung mga presyo? Bakit hindi alam halimbawa ng EMS? Uh, from from the private side, from the EMS side, uh, we do not look. Uh, we don't have any reason to look for what the prices of uh, other uh, suppliers. Uh, simply because we do have a contract to deliver 8.5 billion pieces for one year. Yeah. So, no, I, I'm. Yeah, I understand that. All I'm saying is that should that there be full transparency, Sir Chairman, as far as PSDBM is concerned. Yes. Please continue. Um, Music cloud, yes. Uh, I think AMS already knew about that because that was the basis of the negotiation. For us to give him a bulk, a bulk purchase, uh, I, I remember us discussing roughly when he was planning, when he was referred to us by DTI, I gave him the standards, the list of requirements to comply with, uh, endorsements to be. Yeah, US, US law, no? Yes. There then, are. Did we talk, Mr. Chair? I'm sorry because kanya is simple. Ang going rate ngayon is around 27.22. Uh, you have to give us a good price para mag-stabilize ang price but we will give you the the best contract that we can give you para fair. The government will have stable You said, Clau, the have, point is, the point that I'm driving at, the that's, point that's, I'm driving at that's why is they transparency. Give the, my point is transparency in the website of DBM. In fact, it is listed as a major concern by the COA report. We understand, Mr. Chairman. That is the point. No? Transparency so, is concerned. Um, Mr. Ferrer was informed on that. That's, was, that was the basis of the negotiation. So it's not about Mr. Ferrer. It is about, let's say, my office looking at the PSDBM website. It is how much are we purchasing this? Or when you bid, for example, and, and, it, and the COA report is littered with all these transparency issues. That is the problem. No? Okay. Unlike, for example, if it were purchased by the DOH, clearly that would be in their website. Pero pinasa sa PSDBM eh. That is problem number one. Okay, pangalawa. Ma how much do you charge us fees in the PSDBM? Is we charge around four percent, Mr. Chairman. Okay, so four percent. Why should a government agency charge another government agency four percent? Bakit kailangan kumita ang PSDBM ng four percent? The salaries of the employees of PSDBM, Mr. Chairman. Isn't it that the salaries of the PSDBM is already in the general fund? Uh, we are we use revolving fund for our inventories and our salaries. Holy Denaten, isn't it correct that the salaries of the PSDBM and everyone in DBM is in the general fund? Uh, I am not as sure of that. I think it's um, the, well. I am sure of it. DBM will be able to answer that, Mr. I, I don't think I am sure of it. Your salaries are paid. You are a national government employee. Is that correct? I am, Mr. Chair, but the PSDBM employees are all contractual under PSDBM. Uh, iba yung contractual, but nevertheless, that is still in the uh, general fund. Maybe it's not correct to use budget. Because <laughs> correct, it's the budget. Now, now, if it were a GOCC, that's another matter altogether. But the question here is accountability. The one really accountable should be the secretary of DOH. Nandun yung budget sa kanila eh. Ilan taong ko nang sinasabi na mali itong practice na to na may pasabay. Pasabay meaning to say na pinapasa ng iba't ibang department sa PSDBM, sa PITC para yung accountability mawala sa kanila at may pakita sa papel pag budget hearing na na ito ay obligated, na sa katunayan ay hindi. Every year, we take this up in the budget deliberations. And there are accountability issues involved. Di ba? Again, why are we charging uh, government, taxpayers, 
an additional 4%. Palagay ko may mali dun eh. Ha? Na wala na accountability, may commission pa ang PSDBM na 4%. Kung ang DOH ang nagbid niyan, meron bang 4% silang babayaran? Yes, Mr. Chairman. May babayaran ng uh, ang DOH na 4% sa Sir, PSDBM? Service fee usually, Mr. Chairman. No, when they use PSDBM, if yes. DOH were to, were to bid it out by themselves, may 4% ba? I cannot answer that, Mr. Chairman. I think there is none. Agency. Yes, but you know better. There is none. Right? It is only the PSDBM that charges. Okay? And uh, when you bid out the projects, who signs the notice of award? It's common supplies, Mr. Chairman. It is the executive director, which is uh, me during that time, Mr. Chairman. If so, it, PSDBM ang notice of award. Yes, uh, common supplies for Mr. Chen. Oh, di, hindi ba dapat pagka, let's say, DOH yan binigay sa PSDBM, may joint accountability dapat yan. Now, you bid it out and it should be the secretary also. Or it should be the secretary of DOH who should sign the notice of award after the PSDBM recommends. Isn't that the, should be the practice? If it's not common supplies, Mr. Chairman, uh, it's a non-common supplies, and then usually it will be the um, mother, uh, what do you call that? The end user who will be signing the notice of award. The PSTBM will issue a um, recommendation or award. Correct. But if so it's in this case, case it's PSTBM. So in this case, is what we, with regard to what we're talking about, the Secretary of DOH did not sign any notice of award. Yes, Mr. Chen. So only you signed the notice of award? Yes, Mr. Chen. Okay. And where did you get the specifications for what to buy? Uh, the agency purchase request, which is sent to us by DOH, it uh, details all the standards and specifications of the items that they um, are ordering from our office. So what does that mean? The standards uh, and specifications, is set alam the nila. Yes. They're aware. Yes. Right? Okay. So if they're aware of the standards and specifications, why did they even up download those funds to you? Why can't they just bid it out themselves? Uh, I think the answer of the OH last time was that they lack the personnel at uh, the time during uh, the time. In fact, it was a discussion with the I think IATF and NTF during the time that uh, there was no source and they need to ask uh, PSDBN to handle that particular affairs, Mr. Chairman. So I think that was the reason, Mr. Chairman. yung nauna naman, yung request nila sa inyo or yung, yung download of the funds or when did the government determine a common use supply set up? Um, uh, I think the de declaration that it was considered as a common supply was made on, I think, in, in March. I don't know. It was declared as common supplies. I, I am not um, sure when it was declared as common supplies, Mr. Chair, but it was uh, when, this, when is a specific date. But before the transfer of funds, it was already considered as common supplies, Mr. Chen. Okay, so now na na in the termination of common new supplies. And who determined that? Uh, it's the GPPB, Mr. Chen. So DBM pa rin? Uh, I am not aware of, uh, sure of the nature of the GPPB, Mr. Chen. Is it the GPPB under the Department of the Budget and Management? I think so, Mr. Chen. Yes, it is. Okay, so DBM lahat ito. Okay, <laughs> okay. Now, do you still have any uh, uh, resources with the PSDBM today from different government agencies? I'm not aware. When the time, uh, by the time I left, Mr. Chairman, yes, there were resources uh, still available. Still, 
but under uh, present. Yes, and uh, which will be covering numerous years, is that correct? That is accurate, Mr. Chairman. Uh, how long? Maybe 10 years? Meron bang 10 year old? Wala naman. Uh, we conducted our inventory. Uh, I, I'm not sure if it's uh, up to 10 years, but I am sure at least there are three years old or four years old. Okay. So what does that mean? If there were funds lying either with the PSDBF for three years? Um, Hirap din ang DBM magpabid ng mga project. Ganun ba yun? Ng PSDBM? Um, yes, Mr. Chairman, the reason for the some accounts there that are left, when, when like me, when I arrived into office um, in 2020, some of the items or some of the accounts are left there. Um, it was not bidded out because the, the, the specifications and the APRs of the agency of the procuring uh, of the end user, which is the agency that transfers the funds to us, uh, was still being crafted, not clarified. Or, or incomplete, right? Yes, or incomplete. So, okay. Uh, uh, that's, that's the situation. So, look at this issue now, the accountability side. Huh? You're yes. telling us that one of the reasons why in the mabid out the PSDBM yung iba is because uh, hindi kompleto yung specification standards na binibigay ng agency sa inyo. Okay? Yes. So, nagtuturuan kayo in effect. Di ba? Dinownload sa inyo and then you can now say, oh, na-delay yan kasi you're not giving us the specifications. Eh. Right? So, ngayon, nalilito na ngayon din ang kongreso kung sino ba talaga accountable. Yung PSDBM ba o yung agency? Okay? Today, uh, for this uh, uh, PPEs, we're saying alam ng agency yung standard at yung specs. At sinabi sa inyo, this is the quality we want. This is our standard. This is our spec. Okay? Kung alam pala nila eh, yung anong kailangan nila, hindi dapat sila na lang ang nagbid. Bakit pa pinasa sa PSDP? And that is the point. The, the precise right? reason. And the reason they passed, uh -huh. that's why we were able to bid it within one year and award multiple awards within the year because DOH was efficient in submitting to us the standards, the standards they sent to us. Yes. That's the, the point. The so if, 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 if sabi, alam nila yung kailangan nila, in so my point, Mr. Chairman, is they should have bidded it out themselves and not pay PSDBM 4%. Right? Uh, Mr. Chairman, it, it, Mr. Chairman. The short, the short change ngayon, ang taxpayer din, doble, doble, nagbabayad na ng sweldo, magbabayad pa ng 4%. Tapos syempre, nagugulat pa yung taxpayer ngayon na doble, doble pa pala yung presyo. Remember, ah, based on our records today, what did we talk about? Ang presyo ng local, 13 pesos at 250. Ang presyo ng imported, 27 at, or what was the number? 23 and 28. There are most. Kaya nagtataka yung tao. Ha? And I think, let me again manifest, I've been doing this for several years now. Questioning always. Uh, government uh, doing a pasabay, ang tawag ko pasabay eh, huh? downloading funds para kunwari obligated to PITC, to PSDBM, at nawawala yung accountability on the bidding, nagbabayad pa ng dagdag commission, so on and so forth, nalilito ngayon yung budgeting process din because of this practice. That is the point, uh, Mr. President. So we're very much concerned with how this operates. Excuse me, Senator Director. Yeah. Uh, Secretary Duque, did you want to uh, yes. react? Yes, Mr. Chairman, thank you very much. Uh, I just want to uh, put this uh, thing in uh, context. Uh, in the uh, January, February, uh, nung, uh, uh, dumating yung uh, COVID-19 sa atin at uh, patuloy na tumaas na noong March. Uh, we were all concerned for the protection of our healthcare workers. And uh, the president was 
very vocal about uh, his uh, concern for the protection of our healthcare workers. Wala tayong makuhang supply. Yan ang, yan ang talagang malaking problema natin. Walang wala po tayo. In fact, yung mga natira namin ng mga supplies, naubo sa Taal Volcano na uh, binigay namin ng mga mask. So, talaga wala kaming makuha. And the President was telling us, no, you have to produce all these PPEs, all these life-saving uh, equipment because we need to take care of our healthcare workers. Kung meron pa supply, bakit hindi na lang kami? Kami naman talaga ang gagawa na dahil alam naman namin lahat ng mga uh, technical specifications. But of course, kami, binigay namin sa PSDPM because kami yung amin na uh, procurement absorptive capacity was really very, very poor because unang-una, yung mga panahon na yan, ang dami na isolate, na quarantine na mga uh, DOH uh, employees and officials. No? Uh, number two, yung uh, balik-balik namin sinasabi na talagang walang-wala tayong makuha. Kung meron, man, meron naman tayong uh, alam na mag, uh, pagkukuhanan katulad nung sa, uh, sa bataan, wala naman silang volume. Hindi naman sila daw makagawa ng sapat na mga uh, PPEs o yung mga face masks. Nagka-problema din po sila sa raw materials. Sabay-sabay, yung global supply chain, napaka-acute ng shortage. Kanya talaga kami, minabuti namin, uh, dahil nga sa direktiba ng ating Pangulo, you have to produce. Kanya, yun po ang ginawa ng IATF, ng NTF, and we had to download these amounts not in one sitting. We actually downloaded this uh, covering or spanning uh, almost one year. And we have the documents to submit to the uh, committee. Ano yung schedule of uh, the agency procurement request that uh, we uh, downloaded to the PSDBM together with the amounts and quantities, the technical specifications, etc. Kompleto po yan. And lahat po may legal uh, basis. So talagang walang wala po tayo. Kaya talagang we were desperate. That's the word that I'd like to uh, use. We were desperate. Uh, let, yeah, po, let, me, yeah, let, let me move on. So if, for example, so one year, one year, ah, may tindihan ko sa umpisa siguro. No March, April, maybe. Ah, o sige, kailangan bigla-bigla. O sige, medyo mataas nga itong una. Pero yung succeeding, mas mura na dapat. No? Pangalawa, palagay ko naman, hindi rocket science to produce these PPEs. Kayang-kaya na natin i-produce yan. If we cannot even produce PPEs, what else can we produce? What else? Eh dito, dito sa Matangas, yung mga, yung mga nakaka-produce tayo dito ng mga high-quality semiconductors din eh. And you, we cannot produce PPEs moving forward. Di ba? Oh, what is the policy today? Shouldn't we produce some of this locally at least? Shouldn't we have, we have our own stockpiling of this? Many countries do that right now. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, let me just uh, give my rejoinder. Yung policy naman po ay uh, ang mga local manufacturing companies. They can. Nobody is stopping them. They're being supported naman. And uh, na, nakapaggawa nga sila. In fact, na nakasama nga sila sa uh, suppliers list. No? Uh, is testament to that uh, policy na they are all uh, welcome to uh, uh, locally manufacture. And uh, yun naman ang ginawa namin, nag-meeting kami nila Secretary Mon Lopez ng DTI, pinag-usapan po namin iyan na bigyan natin ng pag-asa, bigyan naman natin ng oportunidad. Yung sarili po natin mga uh, manufacturing companies dahil yan po ay nag employ ng libo-libong mga uh, kababayan natin. So, uh, we share with you that uh, sentiment na if there's an opportunity for the uh, private uh, manufacturing companies to uh, supply government, I mean, yeah. that opportunity is, uh, has to be uh, maximized. And that's what we did. Yung nga lang, syempre, yung PSDP, may sarili naman silang proseso na hindi naman po kami kasama doon sa kanilang uh, mga proseso. 
So I defer to oh, That's my problem, Mr. Chairman. Yung hindi kami kasama sa proseso, again, the accountability issue, magtuturoan eh. Ang pera galing sa inyo, pero bahala sila, sila yung nagbidyan, hindi ako nakapirma dyan. Yan ang nangyayari. That is the point I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm driving at. There must be clear accountabilities. Di ba? Okay, yan ang problema. Pag nagpapasabay. <laughs> uh, Mr. Chairman, can I just comment very quickly? I just would like to suggest, Mr. Chairman, that perhaps uh, it might be best to uh, consider uh, a legislating uh, so that uh, a legislation na hindi na pwede itong ganito uh, para mas malinaw talaga. Uh, kasi ito naman ay ginawa doon. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Just a humble suggestion, sir. Uh, Mr. Chairman. Yeah, uh, yes, uh, and I will I will propose that in the Gel Appropriations Act for 2022, we, we can write special provisions to this effect, limiting the role of PSDBM and PITC. Huh? or even clarify the accountabilities as well. Okay? Um, now, Mr. Chairman, we support that uh, 100%. Okay. So so I just wanted to make okay. those manifestations and put that on record. No? And again, like I said, no, the, the COA report is littered with many transparency issues with regard to PSDBM. Hindi nakalagay dun yung uh, uh, Yung, yung uh, purchases, uh, what has been awarded, so on and so forth. Okay? And uh, I will not take, uh, I know a lot of uh, senators will want to ask questions, so let, let me wrap up, no? Uh, and later on, I may participate again, no? Uh, I just wanted to zero in on this, so. Hindi rin mo nakakatuwa o nakakabahala nga na malaman natin na your local supplier natin could supply it for thirteen fifty, for two fifty, and yet binigay yung kontrata sa foreigner, Chinese. I don't know, but Chinese pero hindi uh, what company it is. Na at those prices, double the prices. Yun na nakakabahala. 